Ladies and gentlemen, I'm happy to be here today. About one and a half years ago, my very good friend Mark Donfried and I, we met and we thought it might be a very good idea to establish a program that from the academic side combines a couple of issues. And I, I can say that we've been very fast to establish four different master programs here in Berlin. What is so special about that type of education? So number one, as Mark Donfried has already explained, we are combining forces. We are combining, let's say, the know-how, the knowledge of a traditional state university in Germany, Furtwangen University, and a very renowned institution like the Institute for Cultural Development. Uh, cultural diplomacy, sorry. So we thought that we would establish something that we have not seen here in Germany. A combination between cultural diplomacy, international relations, and also uh, competencies in economics, international economics, and international business. Why so? Um, we think that mainly many problems in this global arena arise from two issues. We think number one probably might be intolerance and number two might be a lack of competence and understanding. And in our programs we would like to solve those problems and we think that young people are the best to get educated, they are open to different thoughts, and we are happy now to have about, we have started the program in the beginning of 2015. As I mentioned, we now have four different master programs ongoing here in Berlin, and we have about 50 young, very motivated and qualified people who have started in those master programs. Once again, why do we do this? We think it's a good idea to start with education. Cultural diplomacy is very important for young people and we think that we should basically start from the roots. Now, Furtwangen University has started, as you can see here, has started as a school making cuckoo clocks, which is quite interesting. Also, Mr. Lawrence, who will have a similar topic right after me. So our university developed from a simple school for cuckoo clocks. It became an engineering school. That was back in the 1850s. And today, Furtwangen University is still a small place in the middle of the Black Forest, not in the center of the world, but we have many students that we send all over the world. We receive many students from all over the world, and we have a range of about close to 50 different study programs, and all of them are international. So we thought that this is a good basis for also offering programs here in intercultural diplomacy. Now I would like to keep this very short because you all have listened to a wide range of important speakers. But of course I do want to give you the chance to ask questions to me and about the program for example or why we do that, and how young people can qualify for those programs. So thank you very much for your attention, and I'm open for your questions. Thank you very much. Are there any questions? OK, there's a lot of questions. Thank you very much. My name is Lydia Jimenez. 
I'm a professor of psychiatry at the University of Autonoma de Barcelona. Um, so I was um, had in mind a question that I think it suits you better than to any other because you are dealing with the time. Yeah. Um, in all the problems we are talking about, about the situations, the time is the key point. So from your uh, knowledge of how to build education uh, and how this can influence, and at the same time, being some people who work with the concept of time, how do you see uh, short-term and long-term strategies? Because most of the people are talking about long-term strategies that will take years to happen, but uh, others need to be immediate because it's an urgent situation. So talking about time, about a clock that is running, uh, what is your perspective from the educational uh, chance that you have? Thank you. Thank you. Although I mentioned that we, it that didn't take, take us a lot of time to establish the program, I think education is a long-term project. Yeah? You need some time, basically, to grow both knowledge, but also the attitude towards certain things. And if we talk about intercultural diplomacy, I think we, we really talk about a long-term strategy here. For our student, that means they can attend one-year or two-year master's programs, but they all have a first degree. Yeah? So they all, all come with, for example, a bachelor degree, and that is already a three to four years project. Once they leave the, the university, they still will need to develop. They will need to develop professional expertise and so on. Yeah? So it's not, it's not a short-term process. It does need time, I would say, especially in education. Do we have time for one more brief comment or question? I'm not sure who is first. Professor Leder, can you help me? You have a better perspective. I did not see that. I'm sorry. All right, all right let's maybe, what, yeah, OK. All right, I'm trusting you with the democracy of the audience. I wasn't paying close enough attention. One final question for Professor Leder, please. Uh, well, my question is basically, uh, Baden-Württemberg is very well distinguished about um, dual education and all these pro uh, programs with innovation. So what is the plan of uh, this university in terms for uh, cultural diplomacy, innovation and dual education? Now, dual education, Germany is a very good example for dual education, as you absolutely correctly stated. But dual education, as I understand it at least, is a step before those people come to us. Yeah? Our students already have a first degree that, by the way, could be a dual degree, for example. Yeah? So we welcome students with also with a very practical education. The programs we do here, though, are master's programs, so we need the first step. Either dual education, we need a first degree. Yeah? Does that answer your question? Maybe we can discuss it later, if that's okay for you. No, luckily, Professor Leder will be with us uh, for some more time as well. So I would encourage you, please feel free to approach him. Questions about the university, questions about the programs. Also, feel free to approach me as well. And uh, we hope the programs will continue to grow and develop uh, steadily over the coming years. But let's extend our sincere gratitude to Professor Dr. Michael Leder. Thank you very much. Thank you.